Welcome back guys. It is episode 5, or I'm pretty sure it's 5. Wait, no, it's 6, I think. I don't know, to be honest with you. There's a few things we need to do this episode. We're going to be talking about uh, the new the new base we're going to. And also, we've had this guy a while. It's about time we name him. And I think we're going to name him... Ooh, I don't know. I think we're going to name him Maxwell Harper. Now you're thinking, why such an amazing, aggressive, badass, badass name for him? And... Well, to be honest, I just really like the name. If I could pick my real life name, it would be Maxwell Harper. Alright, you ready Maxwell Harper? Let's start this episode. Uh, in here, we have Ultra Karen. Uh, as you've seen in the last couple episodes, I've done a bunch of work on her. I know 21% doesn't look like much, but I've had her out essentially all but like 8 hours since the last episode. So, a lot of my time has been devoted to her and with making the other season or episodes we do have. Oh, let's stack this on her quick. But she's coming out real nicely. If I had to guess, her melee is going to be about 970 when she's done. And 20, or I would say 36,000 health. It's going to be tough. But the imprinting, I'm actually getting pretty close on here, guys. I'm hopefully going to get a couple more imprints today on her. Um, we are going for 100%, but because we started her on double maturation, the first imprint wasn't actually on double maturation, uh, maturation. It was after it, so we're just a hair behind because of that. Um, but I do want to do one thing that I don't know that I've ever done with you guys. Uh, we need to grab Ounce here. Come on, Ounce. Off of her little perch. We're going to go outside with her. Oh, it's dark out. And raining. Oh my god, if fog shows up, I'm just going to die. Alright, that would have been the trifecta of Arc Doom. Alright, now we need to find... That's Death Pigeon. Alright, where is... Fruit Loop. Is Fruit Loop in here? Um, oh my gosh. There is a lot of dinos in here. Alright, we're going to grab Fruit Loop. And we're going to grab... Where is Overheat? We need Overheat. Alright, and we are going to go do a metal run. We are going to be heading to... Let's see... Uh, let's see if you guys can get a view. We're going to be heading to about 35, 60. I'm going to put an arrow there for you guys. So you can see it with my handy dandy blue arrow. And I will wait probably for day and then head up there, guys. See you on the flip side. All right, guys. We're up here on the mountain. We have Ouncey. I think her name actually was Tonnage for a short while. But I'm going to name her Ouncey because... She's a good weight bird, but eventually we're going to have a better weight bird. She's got 6,000 health. And Fruit Loop is actually Kate's, but she's our new stat. It starts out at 1,300 May or weight. And we're going to be getting another one. So Tonnage is going to be our big one. Um, oh, looks like we have somebody up here. And... We need to collect some metal here. These magma swords are pretty overpowered. We'll apply to them real quick. But these guys are really good at gathering metal. And if you can see here, they're good at a crystal and obsidian as well. I didn't get to play much with... Uh, What's it called? I never got to play much with these magma swords when they first came out. I'm going to try to leave some metal up here on this mountain for them. I don't want to take all of it. Um, in fact, I'm going to ask him here quick if he needs some metal. So I'll be our bees, guys. But we're going to clean off this mountain and take it down. Alright, so we loaded him up with metal. He couldn't carry any more. 
And he's actually taking some off his inky. He was using the store, so it's good. We're trying to be friendly neighbors here on the server, so sorry about the distraction of the last clip. I just wanted to make sure he could get metal as well. And we actually completely filled these guys up. I may actually take some weight off of them, but we're gonna go down and put them in the forges. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this because I normally do quite a bit of resource gathering and I don't always show it on camera and I thought it would be something kind of cool for you guys to see. So let's go back down there and I will uh, load that up there and then we're going to go out to the new base area folks. Alright for you guys that don't know this is where our new base is going to be at 3015 and the walls have gotten farther. Uh, we're getting close and this is going to be the community area um, but what I wanted to talk about <clears throat> is this island right here this is where our tree is going to be built and as you can see I've started placing foundations down but we're going to build a tree on here but I have to actually place a bunch of foundations uh, so that I can build up in the air now let's see if I can get a better deal here so you guys can see a little bit better all right I'm gonna put a tree on the screen right now and so you can kind of see where it's gonna be and the size of it and obviously it's just a little uh, thing you know I'm I, you know actually you know what it's the most epic thing you guys have ever seen it definitely isn't a bunch of black squares uh, but that's where the trees gonna go but in order to have that overhang on each side um, we have to have foundations down over here or pillars and stuff underneath and this will be a good area for our dinos now this is not going to be easy because the bottom's got to be metal so that a giga or a titan if it comes over here we're safe uh, I know it's surrounded by water, but this is going to be one of our, our, this is going to be my permanent base, so I need to make sure it's good and doesn't get destroyed. The top part's going to be made out of wood, but the, the bottom part, which could be affected by gigas and titans, is going to be metal. Now, that doesn't look like much right there, but that's 60 foundations I think I placed the other day. Uh, so we have quite a bit of ways to go guys. This is not going to be overdone overnight But I definitely want to get a good start on it and give you guys updates on it So sadly that looks like the end of the episode for today, but I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one